Funding for Off 90 is provided in part by the Minnesota Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund and the citizens of Minnesota. <laughs> Lindsay Tebow from Rochester is a mixed media artist. She creates landscapes like you've never seen before. Using torn paper, sand, and paint, Lindsay takes the art of the collage to a whole new level. Layering paper on top of paper, Lindsay crafts colorful scenes conjuring up images of glorious sunsets and warm summer days. A lot of people say that my work is different. They'll say I haven't seen anything like this before and that's kind of what I'm going for. I want people to be able to interpret it and find their own meaning in my work. I am Lindsay Tebow and I'm a mixed-media collage artist. I am an artist because I believe that everyone has something to say and the things we have to say are what inspire us most and for me it's nature and materials found in nature. That's what started it all. I see these landscapes and all these different layers of hills and I actually used to live in Winona and so the drive along the Mississippi to Winona was just gorgeous. And so just the same thing, the layers and the colors, that's what started it. Collage means to cut and paste. a collage, but I do think that I'm unique in the way that I bring in some other materials and I'll typically tear. Most people will cut and have like really um, kind of strict and direct lines in their work and I try to have more of an organic flow and I kind of let the papers tell me what they want and different materials will just come to me as I'm working. And what I'll do is wait till my paint is dry and then use glue and sprinkle it on top. And you'll see when I'm creating my pieces, I'll just decide, oh, I think this one needs sand, or I think this one needs this texture in it, depending on where the piece is going. I'll take pictures of trees and plants and things that will inspire me for my pieces. Around Minnesota and Wisconsin areas, and find sand from local areas like the Mississippi River or off of a bluff or an area that I really like, and I'll put those sands in the pieces. So that's where I say mixed media, it's not just paint, I'll add other types of materials too. So I typically will use construction paper or cardstock paper and then I paint my paper with different materials. I'll add sand or string or um, other mixed medias and paint and then tear the pieces apart and layer them in a landscape form. And then I often put something in the foreground like trees or plants. and use an X-Acto knife to cut out my design or image that's going in the foreground. So then once all the papers are prepared, I'm ready to start tearing and gluing everything together. And then I pull down all the papers that I've created and decide what order I want them to be layered in. I just go right along and tear in the direction so that I get the layer of the natural colored paper showing on that hill. So then all that's left is to put my sand grass in the foreground, which I'm gonna cut out. Oh, that's gonna look really cool. And then my tree, 
So I line it up, mark where I want things to go, and then start gluing. It is complete. Oh, oh no, I took off some of the sand. There we go. It's all good. Crisis averted. People relate to the work in a memory that they have or a place that they've been. So that's kind of interesting. Someone will look at a piece and say, that looks just like my farmland, and that's probably what inspired it when I made it. And so they'll purchase pieces just because of the location that they, they inspire and they see in it. And that's one of my techniques is I don't say it. I want them to see and interpret my work however they want to. And so I never tell them what it's inspired by unless they ask. We're always looking for something new and something different. And I think that's what I struggled with back in art school is I, I wanted that so bad. And finally I just sat back and just did what I wanted to do. And it happened to be kind of unique on its own anyways. I would like to be a well-known artist. I'd like to be somebody that people say, oh, that's Lindsay Tebow's work and something that they recognize my style right away. I think it's realistic. I don't think it's gonna be anytime soon. I think I have a lot of developing to do with, with my series and maybe experimenting with things other than landscapes and things like that too. But I just wanna keep developing and seeing where it goes and be open to opportunities and hopefully be a well-known artist someday. Funding for Op90 is provided in part by the Minnesota Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund and the citizens of Minnesota.